Welcome back to DIY Tech and Repairs. Today we're going to follow up on the Batrium system and what we're going to do today is actually hook up what they call a NeoPixel, an RGB based LED system where you actually can control every LED on its own. This is a rather lifty little LED and that will be combined on the Batrium system today. As you can see down here we have this RGB LED blinking here. That LED is actually one of the LEDs that can be populated out to this as well. You can also show the state of charge among some other things. Currently in the Batrium system there are three different ways you can configure the LEDs in the Batrium system. If we take a look at the system on the computer here, to configure the RGB LED you need to go to menu and then you go to hardware, you have to understand and accept and then you go to expansion. To be able to run this so-called remote LED that you have here you need to have the expansion board attached to the system. So basically when you have set up your expansion board you go to edit and you pick one of the three modes that you can be running here. So this is basically the setup in the software. So, so we have the RGB LED here. What we need to understand about this RGB LED is that it will contain three wires. Depending on the sort that you buy, the wires are as follow. In my case, the white is the ground, the green is the data input, and the red one is plus 5 volt. And if we take a look at the expansion board itself, on Patreon's page you will find all the data sheets you need. I have linked in down below the expansion board data sheet. If we scroll down a little bit you will see that the Neo pixel output is on the bottom end here. It's also marked Neo. You connect it up like specified here. You have a data pin on pin number 19 and on pin number 20 you have the ground. But as I said, the NeoPixel also need plus 5 volt. Plus 5 volt is something that you can find on the corner over here. So basically we need to hook up this Neo LED that I have in three different places. So we have the LED here again. And before we start working on this setup, always disconnect it first. So I disconnect the USB connector and I shut the system off. So we take our system here and as we saw before number 19 here is the data pin and number 20 is the ground. And then we need the plus 5 volt. The plus 5 volt we have on pin number 29. When they all are hooked up you need to decide on which mode that you are going to be running. The three different modes as we saw earlier are either one pixel or eight. I'm going to hook up all eight so we can see how it looks. So let's put it in here. Like that. And we have all this hooked up. So let's power in the power first. And there it starts up. Let's hook in the USB. So we get connection to the computer. It's now time to head over to the computer. As soon as the computer or the Batrium software on the computer is hooked up to the system again, you will see that the heart is beating and the USB is running. It's now time to check out the three different states. And we start with a repeat mode. Repeat and save. And as you can see now, and hopefully you can see, is that that green there matches the green there. If you want to understand what the color or the output of this LED does mean, please check out the links below. I will also link in, as you can see here, the actual image describing the different modes. So let's go back to the computer again, and this time we press edit, and we go into status plus Six, seven segments state of charge. So that's eight segments. Save. 
and it now goes back to the lead. I'm not really sure what this is about. The last step is to go edit again and then we go to solid state of charge 8 segments and we press save. So basically what this shows us is the state of charge based on 8 segments. Currently I am yeah, somewhere around 75% state of charge and that matches really good. I prefer this one, it's really really nice. So basically guys, what we learned today is to hook up this RGB NeoPixel LED to the Batrium system. It's very very easy, it's not much you have to do. If you want to buy this NeoPixel LED yourself, check out the links below and you will get it. And hopefully you learned something new today, at least I did. So basically guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time and thank you for today. And by the way, if you want to contribute to my channel, check out the links below. Bye!